Welcome to Aqua for Beginners. This is a great workout, perfect for all levels, but definitely if you are just starting, you're gonna enjoy it because I'm gonna guide you step by step of how to do it and what mistakes to avoid. We're gonna begin with cardio segment where we're gonna move the most important muscle, our heart. Let's do it for two minutes. Then we're gonna focus on lower body, two minutes, upper body, two minutes, and eventually core. And we're gonna have a couple rounds. Let's go. Side to side run is our first exercise. I will be moving my arms this way, heading to the right, the other way, heading to my left. I will cross my feet. It's fast and it's intensive. Let's give it a try. You decide how challenging your segment will be, but remember, it needs to be something slightly uncomfortable if you want to feel this workout. It's only two minutes, I know you can do it. Make sure you keep your fingertips linked. That's giving you better resistance and a better workout. Breathe into the nose and exhale out through your mouth. Never close your lips, because that means you are not breathing or not breathing right. Maintain the same tempo. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. Exercise number two, lower body, let's kick forward, angle to the side, sideways, and then we switch leg for two minutes. Just move your arms along. The higher your kicks, the better. 
move your arms along in any way you wish to we're using no equipment right now so just freestyle baby final seconds turn that tempo up a little bit and don't hold back Strengthen upper body, we're gonna do big palm claps underwater, bringing palms together right here in front of us and then behind us. You can jump along with this one, you can jog, or you can really do nothing and just step. I will be jogging or jumping out and in. You choose your version. Make sure those fingertips are linked. Let's get going, two minutes. Give priority to your upper body. This segment is all about your arms. I definitely feel my arms and chest and back muscles. And I'm gonna turn my palms backwards to target specifically back and tricep right there. Give it a try. Don't bend your arms at your elbows. definitely for core you can either put dumbbells together like this or keep your arms slightly open that's up to you you ready on your exhale drag them down towards your belly towards your hips and then slowly release them up to starting point let's do it again on the exhale press and release keep going we have two minutes to turn turtles up Keep your feet stable on the bottom of the pool. The only movement really comes from arms, but you're gonna feel it in your core. You're gonna strengthen your core. You can also Start in that angle position. Now 
check if that six pack is already there. If not, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Second part, two minutes, cardio, rocking horse. Step forward, heel back, arms open, step back, knee curl, arms back, shoulders away. And again, front, heel back, back, knee up. Ten seconds left. Let's keep that tempo. But I can see that you don't realize, and that's what made me fall in love. Make sure you're doing the same great job on your left side. Try flex your foot with front feet and same with your side hip. Always lifting your knees up first before you kick. Always engaging core on purpose. Keeping the other foot grounded on the bottom of the pool. There's no, not a single second where we are suspended without touching the ground. Always contact with the bottom of the pool. And even if we focus on lower body here, make sure those arms are doing their job as well. Pick up a little more tempo now. Final seconds, keep going. Step forward and kick. Step back, side kick. Love this mix, it's easy to remember and fun. We're gonna have lunge position and we're gonna do flies. Yes. So, one foot forward, other back. Are we gonna bring those arms front and back? Holding dumbbells in a vertical position. Let's go. One minute per side. 
Weights must be below the surface. Let's keep our lower body stable. Feet on the bottom of the pool. Inhale when you open. Exhale when you close. Look around, you should be seeing lots of waves in your pool. All right, go ahead, switch leg, and now consider flipping your arms to this position. That's one way to do it. Another one is mixing this version with what we just did. Just pushing those dumbbells lower, and that's what I'm choosing right now. Here we go. And push it down, yes. One minute, keep those feet stable. Woo! Ow. Boy. Perfect call. To your side, you will be dragging this dumbbell in and back. Okay, so you push it in and back. This other hand is not moving. Here we go. In and out. One minute per side on the X cap. You're gonna target those obliques. If you want, you can put this hand on the side of the pool. That will give you better stabilization. Knee to elbow, kind of. Right, because they will miss each other eventually. Tempo is your choice. I'm gonna move a little fast. I want those obliques now. <laughs> if you have a little longer due date, then slow it down.
not bad. <laughs> Let's switch sides and do the same magic on this side. Drag it in, exhale, in, out. This exercise makes so much more sense if you exhale with each contraction. You're really gonna target those deep layer abs. Only if you do it the right way. Keep pressing that dumbbell in, but also down a tiny bit. 30 more seconds. This is the last, but it's gonna be our favorite segment because these are amazing exercises. We'll begin with wide jogging. Guys, palms are facing back with holding dumbbells, feet a little bit wider in a turn out position. Now with legs, we're gonna draw a huge circle, double front kick, drop down, switch, leg again, big circle on your left, double kick forward, push and push, drop down. We got one minute on each side. Once you're drawing the circle, keep your other foot stable on the bottom of the pole. Push, push, down. Big one. Woo. Push, push, down. Keep going. And of course, you can decrease this range of motion if for any reason you have to.
How you doing? This one is like three-dimensional workout. Really targeting every single part of that lower body. Final four moves right here on the left side. Three more. Two more. One more. All right, now it's time to switch. Big circle right here. Left, left, drop. Front, front, drop. We got two more on the right. Let's make sure this range of motion is still fantastic. And we're gonna switch to upper body, mixing two moves together. Here's cross moving right to left, thumbs facing down with uppercut going down and up toward the surface. Same on the other side. Two minutes to enjoy it. Here we go. Cross, make sure you rotate through your knees, not through your spine. With uppercut, keep those feet grounded on the bottom of the pole. Use your core strength, not just arms. You can alternate these two for two, or for four, or for eight. You got two minutes, that's all that matters. I'm gonna go for four now. Four, three, two, one, and uppercut. These moves, guys, are 12 times harder than if you would do it on land. Or even harder than this if you add any motion, right? If you start moving, it's even more challenge. So just think about the amount of calories you're burning per minute now. Way more than on land. It makes sense to be in the water. Plus, it's much safer for our spine, for our joints. And it's nice and cool. Okay, and the final exercise in today's workout, we're gonna do v lift. Keep your legs straight and lift it up. Now you can add a slight upper body rotation. So you're gonna move left dumbbell toward your right leg and then right toward your other leg on the extra and you make sure you keep your back straight and shoulders above your hips you're not gonna bend through your hips to go there 
don't worry if you can touch your toe. Just add a rotation and feel your core working. After we guys complete two minutes here, make sure you choose a good cool down and stretching. You have three options, five, 10, or 15 minutes. It's up to you, but never skip it. Your workout is simply not completed without it. So you think you were right? Bring it up, bring it up, prove me wrong. Go put up the fight. The way I do, the way I do, will knock you down. You know there's a motion between the stones. Give it up, 